Hello, hello, hello. So this is chapter three from the, our training session of read the manual via via OD training. Okay. So over here you must be wondering why how come it is a chapter three. Oh, well, in the in the developer guide it is chapter four. So what I have realized is the chapters which are given over here are not sufficient even enough to cover one of the topic or in the one of the videos right and few of them are anyway not related to ivr side so don't worry i will cover all of them which are related to ivr but uh, don't go with the same name conversion which is given in the od side uh, od developer guide okay uh coming to our scenario uh the call flow this is the call flow we are creating uh, if you want to see more detail about it uh, refer to the uh, chapter one uh, video okay so what we are saying over here is call will start and what we will do is we will ask the user welcome to avaya tutorial how may i assist you and over here we are going to ask uh, collect the user input uh, it can be in voice or it can be in dtmf okay dtmf is when you press a key okay now coming to your od so over here there are three uh, uh what do you say palettes are available or uh, the component are available which assist you to either playback or collect use information from user okay uh one is announce okay this is just a playback a prompt uh it can be a text to speech or it can be a recorded audio that will be more i will give more detail about it but uh, uh, this is just to playback it will not collect any user input okay another one is menu which we are going to use for our journey okay uh, so this is a menu over here uh, what you are doing is you specify the input like uh, account you can say account on log or press one or you can say password reset or number two right so those kind of a scenario you can create the grammar over here okay and oh, sorry you can put the choices over here and accordingly uh, it will go through the journey okay uh so let's say for the third there is another one is prompt and collect so prompt and collect is used for let's say you want to collect the date of birth right so those cannot be a choice option that has to be at like a, a grammar based where you specify okay the input will be of around eight characters like two for digit dates two for months and four for year so that for those kind of a scenario also it can be used for the menu so uh, you can create like press one for uh, account on login pass uh, press two for password reset those also supported over here but primary this is used for where you want to use or collect the input which is not in like one to nine as a press one or press two it's a collection of user input like ssn date of birth your employee id or something like that uh, another one is there if you want to record a voice okay so it was somewhere in yeah prompt and collect okay so this is just a pure voice uh, input you will be collecting or you will be recording the input so let's say if you want to collect some feedback at the end of the call uh, and just wanted to store somewhere it those so you can use those one and you can configure it uh, to have where you want to store the uh, particular input from the user so this is more about how we are going to uh, use or what are the pal components available in the iod to design or to develop uh, to collect user input or to play back something to the user Okay, that's all for the today's video.